okay, during the covering portion of the fuselage and fin of the Super Starduster, we had an area where the covering was supposed to be tight against the fin structure, and it was not. So what we opted to do was use what's called lacing. And when you do lacing on an aircraft, there's many different knots in this instance we use what's called a modified seine knot in the third picture you can see where the covering was pulled away from the fin structure so this is how we do a what i call a miniature modified seine knot to cinch the covering down against the fin frame holes are pre-punched at a particular spacing depending on the aircraft type and the yeah, holes go okay. alongside the structure part you're going to be lacing the fabric to um, and then you have a needle and it's attached to some thread and it has a bend on the end and you work the thread through the holes and around the frame structure in a particular fashion to get the lacing effect. With the modified seine knot, the knot that is actually formed after you do the loop um, will actually be hidden down below the covering so you won't see it and all you will see is the loop going around the actual frame or wing rib or whatever you're stitching around so that is the definitely cool thing about doing the same knot is that the uh, or modified same knot is that the knot is actually hidden it gets pulled down below could have used other methods to hold the fabric down to the fin structure, such as adhesives and other items, but with the tension that the covering can generate, it possibly could have pulled the covering off of the, uh, the frame structure. So like I say, that was why we opted to go with the, using the lacing system. And it is a scale aircraft, so it is a scale system. He's not being nice. Keep going, and then we run this through. You see that?